Hi, I just unmuted myself. I'm a professional at this. Sup? Today I'm early. Normally I'd be streaming at four, but you know, I feel a couple hours early. Eh, what's that? You know, what's wrong with that? Reason. I'm streaming Trespasser, the Dragon Age Inquisition DLC that, well, ends the video game Dragon Age Inquisition story. There's still some books and stuff that continues the Inquisition, Inquisition story within the world of Thetis, but I'm streaming a video game, not a book. This is a big deal for me. Because, um... On September 19th, uh, 2022, I started streaming. I started streaming with, uh, the, the, the first part of Dragon Age Origins. Had a completely different model then. I've since changed models, um, you'll be able to see my old model. Kept some, uh, some aspects, but, um, completely changed my models, um. And, um, yeah. It's weird because over a year and a half ago, I started with Dragon Age. And now I'm at the final part until Dread Wolf comes out. So, um, before we start, let's just, uh, um, watch a, a, a bit of this here. Let me uh, interact with the browser here so we can. That's me. The old me. It's been a while. I'm going to go turn the sound monitor on so I can actually hear what I'm saying. I don't think I can. I still can't hear what I'm saying. Anything even coming through the browser? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, that that's... um. Old me, right there. Playing Dragon Age Origins. Way back when, in 2022. September 19th. I've come a long way since then, I think. So now, well, let's start. Dragon Age. Inquisition Trespasser. Start! Do 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 Continue. Oh boy. This is filling me with like so, sudden nerves just because it's like I've been playing this the series for like a year and a half now and it's gonna be over I've been playing Dragon Age game the Dragon Age game on stream pretty much every week not not every week but pretty much every week for like over a year and a half now. Freaking out a little bit. I mean, I'm still going to do a couple war table operations before that. Because I don't want to go completely in. It's like, I want—I was like so eager to get done with the game because, um... Like, there's so much to do and I really didn't want to do the, the hissing wastes anymore. At the same time... This is my last time in Skyhold. I mean, I'll make sure I have a save beforehand, so if there's anything that I want to do, I can do it. But... Soon I'll be beginning the Exalted con the con thing. Okay, a letter for, from from the hero of Ferelden, from Alhin. 
Okay, um... Well... Indeed. The Chantry has yet to collapse on itself, that's something. There will be guidance. Uh, no doubt Madame Vivienne will deliver edicts when she becomes divine. The people won't accept a mage. We shall see. I'll come back to the save, um... That... I trust Aveline. I trust Guard Captain Aveline. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what? Squint, Lake Callanhad is shaped like a bunny. Uh, perhaps we should take a... Oh, I think I see it. Squint? Cullen? Squint? Cullen. 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 Lake Callanhad is shaped like a bunny. You don't need to squint. Lake Callanhad is shaped like a bunny. Though I was waiting for that one. See if there's any more that I've forgotten about. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm I am gonna start. So I'll come back to the save for those when they when when they're over. Okay. I'm going to go walk through Skyhold one last time. Memories. There's Josie's room. Well, not her room, but, you know, her office. Little entry hall, really nice. Oh, am I still now? Am I getting audio from myself? Um, where's that coming from? Give me a second. I gotta, I gotta, um. There we go. I don't know why it was playing all of a sudden, but yeah. I don't know if you heard that, but that was uh, me from the old days. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I had to take care of that. That was going to distract me all night long. I was using a headset mic. This old library down here. Really nice. Really wish I could interact with it more. It's a really nice little study library. I wish I could, you know, used it. And then we got a wall. Various nice pictures. Wine cellar with all the bottles of Thetis. The quest that I hate the most. The kitchen. I miss this place. And down to the stables. Horsemaster Dennett. Got him from the hinterlands. My new my current horse. Blackwall, soon to be Grey Warden. He does like hanging out by the stables, I guess. To work on his horse. The merchants, the shops. A whole temple 
I told you. Elves. You did say elves. Maybe we get rich. Okay. This random place where my trainers were when I started for um, my specialization, which is a uh, champion. Cullen's office. We stuck him up in a tower. This is canonically where Cullen sleeps. Um, I read a theory that the reason why he sleeps up here is because, literally because that roof is falling apart. And um, last time he was trapped in a tower. Um, abominations were running loose in uh, the, the, the tower in Ferelden. Okay, over here we got the library. I'll come back in that way. We come in that way later. Well, technically not the library where Solus was. Just some adventurers that work for the Inquisition, constantly changing um uniforms. No different ones. Just uh, you know, empty place that needs some some work still. Um, I'm gonna hit the up uh, upper area first. That leads to the tavern. Where, where Cole is. Going through all my memories right now. Where I met the champion of Kirkwall. Another uh, empty area that needs some work. But at least this got fixed. The mage tower I had built for the Inquisition mages. I stuck him up a tower. But they work for us. Soon things will be changing for them. They'll be leaving the Inquisition. But they got one hell of a view. I'll tell you that much. I'm not going to go through the entire game. Just Skyhold. Ah, I'll just jump down. I take no fall damage here. Hello, mages. Nice to see ya. My room's up over here. War table's right there. Lizette, nice to see you. Morgan's Alluvion. It is still right here where she left it. That's good. She didn't take it with her. And then we got a little chantry. I'm sure Mother Gisela speaks here. The garden I hardly used. Maneve, our researcher. Mother Giselle, our gardener right there. Morgan and Kieran, still here. Hi, you two. A room that even the Inquisitor can't get into. Mother Giselle again. Back to the throne room. 
Varric. Where Solas um, hung out when he was here. This way heads out to here. Colin probably has to walk all the way th right by Solas every time he came in. Probably squinted really hard at the, the mage. Dorian. <laughs> you can hear the collective gasps. A mage as divine. It's like home, but with less blood magic. It will be difficult to return to Devinter after all this. And leaving you. Most difficult of all. Uh -huh. I'd almost rather let the Imperium rot. Such is my lot. Just a little longer then. Fiona, leader of the mages. Where Divine Vivian is still sitting there, but what was you know it used to be. And it sits out onto a nice little balcony area. With um various bed chambers and the like. And the other side, as you can see. But various bedrooms. I'm not going to read the letters. I'm going to read the uh, the letter of, from the hero for Alden before I leave. A uh, room that needs some work, obviously. Lady Vivian, though I cannot use her on my party, she's still right there. Liliana's um, rookery. No fall damage, as you can see. Very nice. That took a long time. Register pain. Um... Our prison with um, no prisoners, and in some cases, no cells. Then we can go here to see the other part of it. How prisoners uh, live here, I do not know. This place is crumbling, needs a lot of work. Thankless job, uh, being a prison guard here. No prisoners to guard. Thankless. Armory. Cassandra's little, uh, area. Up here. Probably sleeps in a bedroll, but I, this is, this is, this is Cassandra's area. Uh, Cassandra, that just heads back up that way. Our little, uh, training area. If you say so. Long day. The tavern. I'll keep 
gotten drunk here many a time. Though I haven't gotten drunk since Bull. Tell him. It's only right. Not yet. It's not the right time yet. You're just stalling. We're ready. What? Huh? Inquisitor. You won. We all won. And I am honored I was part of it. We all are. But with things winding down, Cullen's got more than enough troops. It's time for us to go. We've eyes on a keep of our own. Starting a freehold. Maybe even titles. Good luck, you know, Sutherland. Up, like you did. Just like you. Well, then I couldn't be more proud, could I? You've turned into fine people. I'm the one who's honored. Who's proud. Don't. You'll start him crying. Again. Are you kidding? This is the best day of my life. Every day is the best. He still works for the Inquisition, though. Worship? It's been an honor. It's been incredible. I have never really done this before doing Trespassers, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I am. Tavern. Sarah. Where we go get our friendly roof time. Gonna miss that. She's my buddy. My main man, Cole. I'm sorry, Cole. But with your gift, I fear that you might see the path I now must walk in solitude forever. This fate is mine alone. Indeed, I would not wish it on an enemy, much less someone that I once cared for. Though you reach out in compassion, I must now insist that you forget. I, I, I'm... What, what, what were we talking about? I'm ready to help people when you are. Uh... I wasn't expecting that. Solus made Cole forget. I mean, I know Solus did that. Oh, so close. Our requisition officer that I never really talked to because meaningless task. I know some people do it. Gets you a little more power, a little more XP, but eh. The Synquisition. They never let me join. Actually, um, what was the what's the real name? They call it the Inquisition, but you know, there's a real name listed here. Okay. No, no, the Harry Heralds is a better name, but they wouldn't let me join. If they did, I would have told them, "Nope, it's the Harry Heralds." Sandra. A mage is the divine. I would never have thought to see the day. At least it is Vivienne. If anyone can handle the forces that will oppose the Sunburst throne, it is her. We live in strange times. My fault. My fault entirely. The infirmary down here. Where I came out of when we came to Skyhold. My old quarters. And the bridge leading out. The last time seeing this place. Gonna hit the undercroft one last time, and then I am going to start trespasser.
Actually, one more place I want to go to before I go there. Okay, just heading up. It's like a loading screen. What? And my quarters. In my view. It's an impressive view. Bavian's got nothing on this view. Okay, off to the Undercroft. Okay. Almost. The Undercroft. One last save in Skyhold. Alistair, Blackwall, Briella, Corypheus, this, 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 Cole. Sandra, Cullen, Divine, um, Pavis, Letters. Do one of these days I'll do like all the codex codexes. Just gonna find the letter from The uh, from Alheen. Be there eventually. To his worship, Inquisitor Lavellan. I wish that I had helpful information regarding Caribbean. Well, I already dealt with him. But due to my own limited uh, training during the Blight, I know less of ancient Darkspawn lore than do most Wardens. I'm engaged in a search of my own. All great Wardens who do not fall in battle eventually fall to something known as the Calling. 
a magic that preys upon our own connection to the blight and the dark spawn. Rather than such foul magic eventually leading to my death, I have determined to find a way to negate this calling and save all wardens from its effects. I have little useful information to offer. Please accept the accompanying gifts instead. If, in my quest, I find anything that may be of use to you in your fight against Corypheus, he's already been dealt with, I will send it to you immediately. Part of me wishes that I could help your Inquisition more personally because of the dangers of Corypheus and the breach approaches the threat of you in another plight. Regardless, Zevran and I have our own battles to fight, and I can only offer my confidence that you have matters well in hand. I'll heen still with Zev. In in closing, I wish you luck. This world of the Shemlin is a difficult one, is a difficult one for our kind, and I can only imagine the pressure of leading the Inquisition, an organization dedicated to the Chantry, while staying true to the way of three trees. May Bethal protect you in your quest, and Andrew bless your hunt. Yours, Warden Commander Mahariel of Ferelden. The last we're going to hear of the hero of Ferelden. Who I imagine right now is traveling a mountainside with, 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 with his um, assassin love and a Mabari. I already miss him. Okay. Mm. Do you ever wonder what lies at the edges of the map, past the seas? No. I think we have enough to worry about on this continent. Uh, of course, but. <sighs> The Romantic and Josephine. <sighs> Tend the Exalted Council. At the beginning, the Exalted Council will lock off all other areas and plot and jump to 944 Dragon two years later. Two years after the death of Corypheus, there is no going back from this point. With Corypheus dead and the threat of the Fade Rifts and demons waning, both Orlay and Ferelden have begun to raise questions about the future of the Inquisition. Divine Victoria, Lady Vivian de Fer, um, has promised to shield the Inquisition from political matters for as long as possible. Eventually, she plans to call the Exalted Council, a chance to determine the role and possibly the fate of the Inquisition. Okay. Uh, back in Alam Sharal. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I really don't. Don't wanna. Okay, it's loading. Still loading. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'll be back once uh, the cutscene's over. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. God, I'm feeling emotional right now. Whew. Okay. 
I don't know how long this is going to be. I might be doing this next week. I don't know. Another parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Of course, Liliana's already there. Why did there. Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. <laughs> Which is upsetting Our to him because he's Ferelden. Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, I think I'm under control now. The other thing is just the fact that I'm going to be done with Dragon Age after a year and a half. I mean, not completely done with Dragon Age. I can, you know, I'm still playing it. Playing like little videos I'm putting up on my VStream channel in the upload section. So I'm still playing, but... At the same time, it's not streaming. Kind of weird. Kind of in a state of limbo right now. The game I started with. It's not the game I'm ending with. Or. I don't know what I mean there. But um, you know. The game I'm starting with is not you know. The, the game franchise that. I'm going to be playing all the time now. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind. Mother Giselle? How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empreuse du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Deos are finally recovering. Um, not really, because, um, you Shemlin are still there. No, I'm not bitter about the Shemlin stealing the Dales from us, for, 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 from the people. No. I'm not bitter at all. Why would I be bitter? Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Have I seen him again? asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden ambassador's concerns. So how's she been doing as Divine? How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. With respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Especially when it concerns my relationships. The year of Victoria's reign was tumultuous. We did not see the peace for which I had hoped. Nevertheless, she has united the Chantry and proven that the mages are under her control. Now I'm going to go see if I can find her at some point. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. <sighs> I will. I'll see you later, Mother Giselle. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, 
A final question, if I may. This exalted council, Thoreldon would have the Inquisition disband. Olay sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? Uh, right now, not going anywhere. We can still do good in this world. The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. Mother Giselle. Yeah, it's basically a trial. Trial of the Inquisition. <sighs> the Winter Palace. Palam Sheral. And a lot of stuff here. Of course not. Too much, I think. I need those. Hard and High Town. Beric is still releasing his book. No fall damage here. Why not? Optional catch up with old friends. Can't open that yet. I can't close the doors. Okay. I'll go there later. This is uh Same old. our side. They should be saluting me. But I've been I'm an informal inquisitor, so it doesn't matter. Uh Josephine in the last couple years. Commander Cullen has reviewed the soldiers. I have written and received so many letters from the Orlesian court. Our birds practically blot out the sun. We are as prepared for this exalted council as we will ever be. I know this past year has been full of formal meetings. Goodness knows I have attended many myself. But this one will truly test the alliances and friendships we have worked so hard to build. If I may offer you any advice, Inquisitor, it is this. Keep a ready smile, and remember we have their attention because we are to be reckoned with. Montilli Ambassador Montillier. Um, Liliana. Unfortunately, I must report that my attempt to use nugs in place of messenger birds in the deep roads has not gone well. On the first attempt, the nugs I released would not even go in the right direction, choosing instead to run around in circles and collide with walls while trying to square them out from under the message canisters. After considerable training, the second attempt went slightly better, with only half trying to escape their collars, while others at least tried to go in the right direction. However, none of the nugs that arrived at their destination. I will require some of Charter's time in dealing with the Norwegian noble one, I believe, inter to be intercepting my nugs. For my surveillance, she appears to be dressing them in little frocks that are simply terrible. Nightingale. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Okay, I need to go find that codex. Call. Uh, Inquisitor, your lesson regarding the young man Cole was excellent. He displays an uncanny ability to locate missing people. That's good. When hostile forces held our agents and we feared they would be killed if we approached, Cole was able to reach them without being detected. While he's been less useful overall at extracting intelligence, I have learned to trust his instincts about whether a target is trustworthy or malicious. As per your quest, I have limited his assistance to rescue operations. That's good. Or attacks on clearly hostile forces. Whatever magic lives in this young man's mind, it would be poorly served by the less pleasant necessities of our work. His remarks about my family, will not remain to the mission at hand, were also greatly appreciated. Charter. Josie? It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Oh, great. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Still planning, aren't you? Then why can I still see those wheels turning in your head? <sighs> Work carries a certain momentum. The truth is... There is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Can I take Dorian? Oh, very much so. In all the years you worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Uh, okay, I guess. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And I become more sham. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. Mystery evening does sound like fun, after all. I do Why enjoy not? mysteries. Josephine, I put myself in your capable hands. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. Yeah. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! Huh? Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who, who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? Uh, I don't know. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I'm picturing explosions. Oh. That part with the glittery... And, and they actually set fire to... <laughs> yes. I, I just I want to know what they saw. I wish I could have seen I it. Call tonight a great success. I, I kind of want to see what they did. Oh, look. The encore signal. Fireworks for an encore signal. Okay. Varric? The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the Captain of the City Guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. 
I want to hear it. Come on. I want to hear what Alpha Lean has to say. Andraste's ass. Am I ever glad to see you? Yeah. What you do now? Are you in some kind of trouble? What's happened this time? So suspicious. I'll have you know I've never been convicted of anything. Officially. Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount. Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall. Uh, until recently. And what are you doing now? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. Yeah, I'm confused. I might need to sit down. You're the ruler of Kirkwall now. All of it. That's not that big a deal. I have a really pointy crown that I wouldn't be caught dead wearing, but that's it. They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. Okay. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a comp now. What? You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. I also drafted an alliance with the new elf-led city council of Wycombe. So Clan oh, Lovellan has good. some political muscle to flex now. That needs to be reviewed that's... by... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? And, and it's my clan, Brad, so, um... Go piss off. Why are you making me nervous? What are you up to? I feel like I should be suspicious. Look, it's really not that big a deal. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the council and a special ceremony. It's... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. I want to do it. Can I try it? Can I do it? No. <laughs> yes. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. We'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? We'll definitely... I wouldn't miss it. We'll definitely get in a hand. Any public buildings this time? We'll definitely get a hand in. Meriden? I'll talk to you later. Warden? Okay, got a good aim. Fashionably late. I thought you weren't gonna show. <laughs> uh I would have let you know if I was on the Bud Light Ward. I gave you my word we would talk, and I never break my Though word. I never got word that we would get word. I was just teasing. So tell me everything that happened while I was away. Well nugs. <laughs> Lots of nugs. Hands filled with ripe squashes and says, Sir, I must report that it was an utter boondoggle. <laughs> uh, maybe you had to be there. Eh, new life suits you there. It's good to see you fitting in. It has its warts, that's for sure. But this life feels right. Like it's where I'm supposed to be. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. Yeah, neither am I. The wardens will be missing me, but they aren't going to keep me away from a friend who might need my sword arm. Eh? Let me try. 
Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Think you can do better? Oh, yes. With one hand tied behind my back. An excerpt of a report bearing the seal of the Grey Wardens found among Inquisition files. Tom Rainer er, participated precipitated, participated in Grand Tourney, former captain of a Relation Army, known for murder, treason, also known for impersonating Grey Warden, Warden Constable Blackwall Valshaven. Member of the Inquisition played a role in defeat of Corypheus. Status recruited. Joining survived. Assignment Free Marchers in Vinmark Mountains reporting to Warden Stardenmeyer an ongoing investigation of Vinmark Prison. Actually, is there um Varric? Meriden? Gold cravat. Will it matter? I don't think they knew. Oh, that's a dog bone. I need those dog treats. Skin like gauze across the sky, I sigh and fall in evening's lakes. The pools of which deep as your eyes, and eyes which pierce of like wakes, drakes, heartaches, cakes. Make her, I hope my lady's patient. Pierce like cakes. I think you're doing good. If you wrote that poem. This is where I can buy a lot of stuff. Some people are having a good time. Uh, wait your notes. A little area where I can craft, I guess. Well, I guess I know. I've crafted uh, many things here. Who's leaving all these dog treats around? Still see the crack where the breach was. Over that way is uh, where the Temple of Sacred Ashes was. Howard Night Town, Chapter 13. I'm thinking that's uh, one of Cassandra's books. There's the breach. Sandra? Oh. Okay. Not the reaction Is I was expecting. All right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. Yes, I am. Should I go? Should I leave and come back later so you can try again? Always with clever suggestions. Of course. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Something's up. How things going? Inquisitor. I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. That's good. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what's okay. in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. Huh? Maybe I should leave and come back. I think I missed the beginning. Oh, I'm talking about marriage. Huh? 
Marriage? Of course, Dorian being Tevinter will raise eyebrows across the Empire, but if that is you... I haven't talked to him about that yet. To anyone. Not yet. I was waiting for the right time. I'm gonna get down I on one knee. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? Varric. He said I was going to propose. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. Uh, maybe I will get married. I might get married. I've thought about it. I suspected as much. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. I love the little hearts on her armor. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what I, I, I love those little, heart, those those little, little hearts right them. on her armor. You can't see the mouse. That is all I meant to say. Advice I think it's sweet. From a friend for the days to come. She's such a romantic. I should have romanced her sometime. Maybe if I start playing through this again, when I play through the next, I'll romance her. I'm just going over here, seeing so if there's the last few years. I'll go back to that line in a second. Charter. Well met, your worship. Uh, Monetus, I, <clears throat> I greatly enjoyed your last letter, as did the servants who stole it from my room and read it aloud to the kitchen staff. Well, I'm embarrassed. Um, that small scandal is only the only bright spot in the whole month. Minrathus is utterly and completely dull without you. It's more exciting when I'm there. The chaos that ensues. I tend to bring Sarah. The chaos that ensues. Mavaris and I have been meeting with our fledgling uh, uh, Lucer Lucerne party. A uh, dozen junior magisters with a burning hatred for the corruption of the Imperium. And little idea how to change it beyond shouting incoherently. It's going to require a lot of work from me and me to turn them into a shrewd magisterium or into shrewd magisterium politicians. Don't laugh. I know you're too tangled up in Inquisition business to get away, but we must find a chance to meet. Letters are a poor substitute for your company. That was a very dirty letter I wrote. Just so you know. Um, I'm just doing the readings. Watch your tongue. Uh, Iron Bull, uh, thank you for sending the chargers to assist with dealing the, with the demons attacking Montfort. Their assistance was most appreciated and many lives were saved. The Iron Bull and his chargers have prevented another civil war from swooping across Orlay with their efforts in per Perindale. The Iron Bull in particular defeated the would-be usurper in combat. We must protest the action of the, of the Bull's chargers in Southreach. While the presence of demons and Templars corrupted by Red Larium is undisputed, the necessity of your Dwarven Miner collapsing the better part of a mountain on the, army, on the enemy forces was hardly necessary, and it ruined my view. I'm just filling the blank there. The both chargers were of great assistance in driving back the demons that attacked the shores of Lake Callan had. The elf who calls herself Dalish was particularly helpful, and I look forward to her promised explanation of how Dalish archery techniques can create walls of ice or dispel magic barriers. There's a, to quote go say, there's a simple explanation. My wardrobe... Special shipment, my storage chest, my wardrobe. I'm not changing clothes yet. I want to get the pair of paddles. I'll come by and sell some stuff later. 
my potions and stuff. Palace guests. My quarters, probably. Peric. Greetings and salutations from beautiful Kirkwall. The sun is shining, the seabirds are screeching, and almost nothing in Hightown has fallen into a sinkhole and ended up in the sewers in over a month. That's good. The Red Larium cleanup in the gallows is going better than expected. Nobody misses having Meredith fused to the flagstones, eerily glaring at everyone. The city guard celebrated finally getting her out of here, out of there by holding a completely impromptu parade. Several low-town residents composed a song on the spot with lyrics to the effect of Thank the Maker the Crazy Cursed Templar is Gone, which was remarkably catchy despite, or maybe because of, the fact that it was mostly just swearing in tune. Even with all this stellar progress, it looks like I'm stuck here. Channels in the harbor were completely changed by the falling debris a few years back, which led to a lot of ships getting wrecked and coming and going, which only made things worse. And then we had fade rifts open, and weird glowing fade rocks appeared out there. Incidentally, thanks for closing the rifts. Now the only hope for repairing the harbor is to send guys with pickaxes to clear the rocks. Ever tried to hire miners who are trained divers, Inquisitor? There aren't many. And even fewer that are happy mining glowing shit from the fade. This is going to take a lot of coin to fix. Stop by the city time. Sometime. We'll get another game of Wicked Grace, please. This Viscount shit is boring me to death. Um, Vivienne, Divine uh, Victoria. Um, I hope this letter finds you well. I do apologize for the tardiness of my correspondence. I have, of course, been extremely busy. But that should never serve as an excuse for neglecting one's most influential friends. I look forward to seeing you again, my dear, uh, though it is a pity we must meet under such disagreeable circumstances as the Exalted Council. It seems we've only just put the mage crisis to bed, and now the Ferelden Banorn is awake and crying for attention. I shall let Josephine give you the details of our upcoming business so that I can instead discuss more important plans for our reunion. Mainly sh namely shopping, darling. There's an excellent milliner planning to make the trip to the Dales from the capital just for the occasion to meet us, and of course, we must visit the Imperial Garden Spa at least once. With affection, Divine Victoria. Uh, from Cullen. Um, word has spread around Denerim that the Summit Inquisition will intend, attend. The news is half rumors, but with, with the representatives they say are going, it's clearly serious. And the details are probably not something you can put down in a letter. I will, however, look forward to more glowing descriptions about how much you love Orlesian parties. Branson's here. His son insists I add hello, cull, to this letter. He also insists it be hello and not hello. Your nephew is stubborn. How very familiar. Love, Colin's sister Mia. Uh, Cassandra. Inquisitor, I am writing uh, to you from the Hunterhorn Mountains, where I was successful in tracking down Seeker Emery. She was more shocked than most to hear of Lord Seeker let Lucius's betrayal, as he was her mentor when she was just an initiate. But she is eager to help rebuild, and she has heard of a few other Seekers who might have been sent to Ravain. I still do not know how many of us yet remain, how many Lucius killed, but I know that we are recovering, and I know that we will do better this time. I confess I look forward to returning to Orlay next month. Once I would have thought that impossible. Orlay was little more than the land of frustrating politics, still is, excessive ornamentation, still is, and responsibilities I did not want. But now that friends wait for me there, it is almost a home. Cassandra. Oh, let me just fix this here. Okay. I go look around. Look at that. Good. Oh, there's a potion up there. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. 
yet. Tavern. Crab de la creme. Your worship, I'm glad you're here. Okay. I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. Uh. Wait, what? It's for his birthday. Do Canari even have birthdays? All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Okay. Hey, boss. Good to see you. Uh huh. Good to see you too. Uh, this it's one. good to see that the veil has largely healed. Now that oh God, this is so awkward. You might think otherwise, but the veil he feels so awkward. A physical he feels so awkward during this. It's I feel more awkward like during a this. Magical vibration that repels the fade. Mm. It's awkward. <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasra, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys. You got me. I couldn't do the rest of it. Too awkward. I was feeling too awkward. Way too awkward. Got to straighten paintings once in a while. Bull. Ah, uh, Sarah's. Lost another book. Stop leaving them places. Lower journal entries by Sarah. Also, several sketches of Skyhold with impeccable cross hatching. She's a talented artist. Moving again, less stuff, more things, people things. Too many Val somethings. Name less stupid, Orlay. Last Jenny checked in, wasn't worried. Drawing of a club fist holding an odd symbol, smashing against the face of a chevalier. The symbol is red and smells of strawberry. Castle Sutherland and crew, sirs all around. He ever stopped grinning? Traveling again. And again. Been here before. We're everywhere. Back to the Winter Palace. Never good. Pack bees. Bet Varric we're in trouble. Scratched out. Varric won't take a sucker bet. In for ten with Cullen. Everyone looks old and tired and fat. Fine to shrunk my skyhold clothes. Scratched out. Piss. Don't say the Inquisitor's hand looks bad. It looks very bad. Is Whittle even here? Why do I go anywhere where there's no Whittle? The drawing of Sarah and Dagna silhouetted by an explosion, bees, and exploding bees. I would like to see that. Chargers in the palace. No one will be sleeping. Rain ear hugs harder than Blackwall. Still beardy. Josie is best here. Cassandra needs to punch something or she'll explode. Everyone? They never call on everyone. Liliana knows something. Knew it. Inquisition is in trouble. Sarah? Here's you. And everyone. Glad to be back all stuffed together. With the pressure full on. Again. Don't worry, Herald of Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Bees? Bees! We need bees. Lots of bees. Lots of bees. Throw them right in the council chamber and run! Run. Run. Just like best times. Please still cut her hair with a dagger, though.
Best part. I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? Yeah. We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. Oh, I'm a long way from being finished. Do I seem like I'm ready to retire? I'm tired. I've never done anything for years. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends. And all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? Oh, hell. Hell yes, as long as I have bees. Bees. Jars of angry bees. Well, all I have to say is call me Red Frigging Jenny. Way too confusing. You'll get a city. One that rhymes with arse. Oh! I should have said we needed a we instead of an us. Because... <laughs> Wait! Anus! <laughs> so stupid. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. I'm ready to run some rooftops. Can we do... Creepy song is creepy. Blah. Yeah, she doesn't like that song. Uh, menu? Cole? I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. There's a glass floating there. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm. I must see this for myself. Thank you, Cole. Thank you. I appreciate the help getting him elsewhere. I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. And I'm sure it'll be doing something. But I saw you. As lovely as your songs. Oh, Cole's got a girlfriend. I'm pleased for both of you. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. I bet. Well then, carry on. I'm not going to interfere with that. That's beautiful. Varric. Oh, yes. Or legions. Not yet. I'm coming to you last, Cullen. Okay. I'm just looking around for any more bones. I mean, there's more. I know there's more.
Liliana? Will you walk with me? Of course. The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. So young. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. Everything does change. Everything changes. People, most of all. Yes. Now all I can see are the knives in the shadows, the poison in jeweled goblets. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. <sighs> well, we do have way too much info. I anyone with our vault of secrets, wouldn't you? It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters and private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. Good. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. When the time comes, consider giving them what they want. Uh? What? You're not serious. They cannot act against what they cannot see. Publicly, oh, I will of course retire from this life, as one would expect. Let them think they finally won. I shall take up charity work, become a patron of the arts, as all respectable women of my age do. Oh, you're not old. Perhaps take on a protégé. Our work never ends, Inquisitor. We just need fewer witnesses. I mean, good idea, maybe. That's the divine. I'm gonna go talk to um uh. of course it's all lions. And caprice coins. Lacquered box. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to find all the Caprice coins. I'll, I'll do that later, too. I'm going to find the Caprice coins, uh, not the Caprice coins, but all the bones. Bones are important. Gotta find all the dog treats before I go talk to Cullen. Reading Hard and High Town. I know exactly where I'm going. Silver Ring. All of the expensive dog treats. All of them.
Don't worry, that's just something I'm never gonna do. There's like a um, Harlequin that's um, disappearing every time I get close. There's like a trick, but I don't know the trick, and I do not want to do the trick, and I'm not too worried about it. It's been a while since so many gathered in this place. Colin. You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. <laughs> you found a dog. They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. But look at him. Tire of you. With that positive attitude and fetching ability see he knows it's not supposed to fetch it i don't think you understand how this works another ferelden trapped at the winter palace oh, i couldn't leave him to that fate besides i think he likes me i think he imprinted on you you could take him to ferelden sometime he should know where he came from i did promise my sister a visit she might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. A person with treats. The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. As long as it includes some dog training. If your support comes with that of your new friend, I'm sold. I know a useful ally when I see one. You can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go. I don't think he wants to get though. I mean, he knows exactly what's going on. to go yet. Yep, I'm just trying to... Place some over... Price dog treats for ya. Just what I need. I'm ready for the exalted council now. I have bees. Tegan, the years have not have been I kind to you. Am I interrupting? Of course you are, darling, but that doesn't mean the interruption is unwelcome. The Earl of Redcliffe was briefing me on the current situation in Denerim. He represents Ferelden at this summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. Well, um, how is Redcliffe? Uh, how are things Altigan. in Redcliffe, my lord? Blessedly quiet. The mayor conveys his greetings. Redcliffe remembers its saviour. Mm. Well, I won't take much time. I'll try not to keep you from more important matters. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. Don't worry, my dear. The Inquisition has the full support of the Chantry at this summit, of course. So, I'm guessing I should be worried. When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. I'm glad you haven't lost your sense of danger. But the powers here are all noise and no teeth. I must make preparations for the summit. My dear, should you need anything, you have but to ask.
I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. Well, at least you're being honest. I then appreciate again, knowing where Ferelden stands. At least, but you are Ferelden. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. These Orlesians will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Earl Tegan changed. Like, a lot. It used to be somewhat pleasant. Uh, let any who read this letter know you speak for the Kingdom of Ferelden. Your word stands as my own, and your decisions are made with the support of myself and those pledged to the crown. You've been a loyal friend, and we invest in our tr our trust in you. Or we invest in you, our trust and goodwill. Make her be with you, Queen Honora. Mm hmm. Duke Cyril. Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition well, let, uh, is not a thing to three here. Likely, which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar. But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Thank you. It looks good and green. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. Two years. It's good to see you, my friend. You're bored, aren't you? Thrilled to be at the Exalted Council, Lord Pavis. Oh, riveted. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. Hey. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. I definitely will. My quarters later? Huh? Inquisitor. Dorian. My quarters later, Dorian. Member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Huh? In your opinion? Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is the good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. Okay. Yeah, he's probably going to look at my butt as I leave. Um, do, 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 dearest Jay, I agree that it's surprising that the Ferelden's come as equals, but the Exalted Council is in the heart of Southern Orlay. That cannot be lost on our neighbor. And Priscilline came out for the first ceremonies, then retired to her chambers for the rest of the talks. A day later, Marquis Briella came visiting on important matters of state. Suffice to say, I do not think we will see them at the Council. Celine and the Elf... Cavort like lovers half their age. Of course, the foolish assume our empress is so distracted that they might safely overreach themselves. An idea even more disastrous than the new carpeting in the north wing. That shade of lime. Really? Ugh, lime carpet. Oh, yeah, I can agree that's bad. Okay. Two more. Divine Victoria. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I scheduled this appointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? I thought we were going to go shopping. With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. 
So they're gonna serve um me? I've never heard of a fancy spa serving elves. Darling, you're the Inquisitor, and I'm the Divine. What maker-fearing soul would refuse us anything? Not a good point. I'm going to go into the bank of or or lay and um, make a withdrawal. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> I'm just distracting. I'm just Relax, distracting. Darling, it's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. How are your international relations with our favorite Tavinta Magister to be? Never kiss and tell. Never kiss and tell. I would never kiss and tell, Vivian. You know that. Merely expressing concern for your well-being, my dear. Someone ought to. Uh, so, uh, what have you been up to these last couple of years? You must be keeping very busy. A divine's work is never done, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Now the most powerful person in all of Thetis. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come hey. on, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. Ham and cheese. I can't pick up the banana. I can't pick up the bananas. I want to pick up the banana on a stick. One last one. Okay, he's up there then. Okay, I thought so. There he is. Dorian. As oh, this the most scene. eloquent dwarf you know. Sparkles. Speech. Speech. Way too much speech. Varric, there's really no need. What's going on? And who didn't invite me? Inquisitor. To trade. You're just in time. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you, or wants you. It, it may even kill you. Probably. But we'll miss you, if it counts. And you didn't know. Okay, folks, time to take the party elsewhere. <laughs> Tom never wanted any. I swear. Uh, leave him. I think he drank too much. It's true. When the exalted council has ended, I'm going back to Tabinta for good. This time. I'm not gonna be angry. I'm sad more. You know I'll miss you. I don't want to leave Amatus. My father is dead. Assassinated, I believe. I received notice this morning. A perversely cheerful letter congratulating me on assuming his seat in the Magisterium. We only met a few times while I was home. He didn't say anything about keeping me as his heir. This ambassadorship, his doing, I'm told. He must have wanted me away when the trouble began. I have to go back. You'll need help. I could go with you. Not this time, Amatus. I won't be entirely without support. Mayveris has gathered other Magisters who feel as we do. We'll be an actual faction in the Magisterium. I'll teach them manners, take them shopping. It'll be fun. 
What of us? This is it then? Nonsense. There will oh, always good. be an us. We'll just be. Wrong. Oh, oh crap! I thought, I thought that was the right one. Now, now, don't pout. They'll put that expression on a statue, and then you'll be sorry. You think this is funny? Nothing about this is funny. I am sorry. There we go. For what it's worth. Mm. No, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go back, Dorian. You put it behind you. You still could. Give up a golden opportunity for martyrdom. Perish the thought. A present. A going away present. Ah. Uh. It's a sending crystal. Amazing what friendship with the Inquisition gives you access to. If I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice, magic. What? You didn't think I would just leave and you'd never hear from me again, did you? You are the man I love, Amatus. Nothing will truly keep us apart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One last ride for Team Gay Elf. Now let's finish the good wine before the others get back. <laughs> yeah! Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Ah, the Exalted Council. Will it matter? Well, I've done everything else. Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Kerr Bronach in Crestwood. From bandits! Yes, from bandits. Would you like us to give it back to them? Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. And they stopped the blight in Ferelden. And, and helped Redcliffe with have its undead issue. Marquise. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Sister Leliana asked to speak with you in private. Well, um, excuse me, I gotta go use a little else room. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montillier, can you handle this for a short Um, time? yeah, really... I, of course, Inquisitor. I really gotta go use this a little else room. Irregular. So am I! The Inquisitor's time? I gotta go use a little else room. I wanna use a little else room. Gotta use a little else room. Where is the little else room? That was over here. Why did they put the little else room? Is it in here? I thought this was the little else room. I thought you would want to see this. That is definitely not the little else room. How did he get into the Winter Palace? Uh, can you tell me anything? So what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Yeah, maybe Bull knows something. Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? Good, we got his full name. I asked. 
and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Tavashov, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. Well, this brings back memories. Deadly mysteries at the Winter Palace. Throw in a Halla statue and some Caprice coins, and it's just like old times. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will ask Divine Victoria to call a recess for now. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. Oh, well, looks it. That pop baton didn't survive. I just got good, good attention to the detail right there. It looks like he came down over the railing. Way up there, too. No loot. This door looks like it's got all its statues, so that's good. Alluvian. If I'm going through it, I'm not going alone. I better make sure I got armor and stuff. I came down over that and I was fine. Okay. My inventory. Okay. Okay, good. Load the stuff up. Be ready to go. <sighs> okay. Please move along. There is nothing to see here. That's true. Nothing to see here at all. I don't mind me. I just gotta go. Uh, you are welcome to pass, your worship. Let's deal with something. Okay. I can't get through that way. Dragons in the sky, the fighting has begun. Okay. Back up this way.
And yeah, I think I'm going to take a quick break right here. Put together my party when we get back. So I'm just going to take a quick break, get up, stretch, and be right back oh, with more of this mystery where I have to go through an alluvian and stuff. So, see you on the flip side. <laughs> 